In this video, we'll talk about the new a the new flex layout um, subcontainer type, which is used for creating responsive layouts where the control size uh, automatically uh, changes as the orientation or the window size of the uh, browser changes. So. Uh, before explaining the actual um, properties of this uh, new control type, let's take a look at the uh, UX component in action here. So you can see here, if we go, let's go to a iPhone vertical, that what we have is a control and a button. And the button is fixed size at 60 pixels. And then this control consumes the rest of the available space. So if I go now to, say, horizontal, you can see there that the... Um, um, control has expanded. The fixed size button is always 60 pixels and now this control has expanded to consume the rest of the available space. If I go to say an iPad vertical you can see there that the button is always 60 pixels and this control has expanded. So let's go back now and look at the um, properties of the flex layout. So first of all before we um, uh, discuss these properties I'd like to uh, point out that um, the properties of the flex layout are very similar to the list control. So if you already understand uh, flex column sizes in the list then you you really understand what's going on here with the flex layout control. So let's first quickly go to a simple list over here and if we look at this list we can see that um, it's a trivial list. It's just got two columns, column one and column two. And that in the list layout, we've specified that the width of column one is flex two and the width of column two is flex one. So that means that columns, column two is always twice the size or twice the width of column one. So if we go now and go into working, prop, working preview, we can see that column one there is twice the width of column two and if we go to this list and change the width now from four inches to say eight inches then we'll see that um, the column two now is still twice the width of column column one is still twice the width of column two but um, both um, columns are proportionately bigger so uh, with this understanding in mind let's go back to um, the flex width here and we can see now if we go to the um, flexible layout width settings over here there's a smart field and we can see that the smart field currently is set to flex 1 comma 80 pixels so let's open the builder here and we can see that within the builder we can see all of the controls that are inside this flex layout container and the first control has been set to flex 1 and the second control has been set to um, 80 pixels. So what we can also see over here is that the defined width, in other words the width that was actually defined on each individual control is a hundred percent and that's um, typically what you would do when you wrap controls inside a flex layout container. So now we go back to um, uh, working preview and we can see now we get the behavior that I described. But now let's go into a browser and see what happens when we resize the browser window. Actually, let's, um, before we go into the browser, let's um, go back to the builder and uh, turn off the mobile preview so that the browser window doesn't have the mobile simulator uh, running there. So we'll go back now to Firefox and we can see there's our window. And now as we resize this window, you can see that the um, flex width is automatically on it. So this, uh, the button is always 80 pixels wide, but the drop-down box um, uh, keeps on resizing to consume the um, uh, rest of the uh, rest of the space. So um, now, if I were to go to the uh, container here, and by default the width is 100%, but let's go now and set the width of this container now to be say um, say uh, six inches. So now what's going to happen when we go over to the browser to preview this, the container is always six inches. So even as I resize this uh, window here, that's not affecting uh, this layout here because this is now hard coded to be six inches wide and no longer 100% wide. So anyway, let's go back now to 100% over there. And now let's uh, pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing now with our um, uh, discussion of the uh, flex layout container um, 
and we're going to uh, open up the uh, the builder for setting the flex layout widths and you can see that in the builder we're showing us that we're showing that we've set the width to flex one for the first control and a fixed size 80 pixels for the second control but we're also showing over here what's called the defined width so if we cancel this and look at these controls we can see that for the state control we've set a width here of 100 percent and for the button control um, we haven't set a width, uh, we ha we've, sorry, we have set a width of 100%. So when we go back to this builder over here, um, this is showing us here what those defined widths are. And you can see that the note at the bottom is telling us that um, typically when you define um, controls inside a flex layout container, you set the defined width of all of the controls to be 100%. So this dialog here just quickly shows you which controls um, have not yet been set to 100%. Also you can click over here to get a full description of um, the uh, uh, syntax, uh, the flex uh, syntax. Another thing I'd like to point out is that um, inside the flex layout container you shouldn't really have any uh, breaks because um, they're meaningless and will mess up the, uh, the layout. So if I go there and for example turn on a break you'll see that the um, uh, layout now no longer looks um, um, uh, what we would expect and when you go to the builder you can see that the builder gives you a quick warning that tells you that there was a break on that line and that you should go turn that off so let's go there and uh, turn that break off so now that we've seen uh, the flex layout with uh, say just two controls in it let's go here and put say another control in let's go and put say a text box control so I'll just call this a text one and uh, we'll go there and turn off the break and we'll set this to be a hundred percent so we'll go there and choose a hundred percent so that now all of the controls inside the flex layout are a hundred percent and then we'll go back to the builder here and now we'll set the um, uh, text one uh, to be say um, flex one uh, then we'll make say the state uh, drop down box we'll set that to be flex two and then we'll set this button back to be um, say 80 and then we'll choose um, pixels so now what we've got is a button that is always going to be 80 pixels and then the state control is going to be twice the width of the text control so let's go take a look at that in action now so there's the state control as at twice the width of the text control and then uh, if we go back let's go back and turn on the mobile simulator so there we have it there's um, the text control the, the drop down control at twice the width of the text control and now let's go to iPhone vertical and again you can see there that uh, everything is resizing uh, dynamically using just CSS there's no JavaScript involved and uh, you've got a very responsive uh, design here that can accommodate orientation changes and window size changes on a desktop browser uh, very easily. Thanks very much for watching.